In this video, I will be sharing the reviews of the latest book in the list of New York Times bestseller, Black Ice, written by Brad Thor. I picked and compiled some of the reviews from Goodreads website. All the links are available in the description. First, let's see what this book is about the new Cold War is about to go hot. Scott Harveth is having his best summer ever. With a cottage on the fjord, a boat, and his beautiful girlfriend Solvi, he's got everything he could possibly want. But out of vacation days and long overdue back home, America's top spy has a decision to make, return, or submit his resignation. When his deadly past comes calling, though, he'll be left with no choice at all. Leaving his favorite Oslo cafe, Harveth watches as a ghost climbs out of a taxi, a man he killed years ago, halfway around the world. How is he still alive? And what is he doing in Norway? In a race against time that will take him high above the Arctic Circle, Harveth will be tested in ways he has never imagined and pushed to a limit few human beings could ever endure. If he succeeds, he'll walk away with everything. If he fails, the United States and its allies will be at the mercy of one of the world's most dangerous actors. Now let's get to the reviews part. Todd Wilkins says that after enduring some of the worst moments imaginable in the past few books, we find Scott Harveth on leave from the Carlton Group, enjoying the Norwegian summer with Solvi Kolsted, the deputy director at the Norwegian Intelligence Service. Harveth is torn between the peace and comfort he has found over the past few months with Solvi and his job, really his calling, back in the US. As he tries to soak up the last few days of his time with her, someone from his past is spotted where they shouldn't be, above ground. Scott is tasked with unraveling the mystery of how a man he personally killed is walking around and why specifically he's doing so in Olso. Black Ice is a riveting novel and the events are so timely that it seems like Thor can see into the future while the rest of us are just now catching up through current news stories. The real-world dangers in the Arctic are deftly outlined and explained, though in a fictional form, but as I read today's headlines I can picture Harveth plotting how to protect the US and our allies. Maddie Taylor from Texas says that I always say Brad's next book is better than the last, and that is the truth again. As much as I loved Scott Harveth on his own with nothing to lose, it was a lot of fun to have him back in a really good place. The main cast of characters never disappoint and we got some really fun introductions to a few characters I really hope to see again in future novels. As for the rest of it, troubling things get set in motion very quickly and seem to slowly unfold over the story. Scott really has no idea what he has gotten himself and his team into, but I can guarantee you're going to have a blast going along on the ride with him. Ray Palin says that Black Ice finds, at least initially, a far more mellow version of the Scott Harveth we have grown to love throughout this series. He has had to deal with a lot of change, both in the political climate that has changed his role as a special agent as well as the personal loss of his friend and mentor with his organization, the Carlton Group. Readers of this series also understand that Harveth is an ex-Navy SEAL and ex-Secret Service member who has a special set of skills that has found him in demand for projects few others could accomplish. Jeremy Edwards says that I have to admit I was a little underwhelmed with Near Dark after being blown away by Backlash. Not to say that I didn't enjoy it because I absolutely did. But Black Ice is everything I was hoping for and more. This is the Scott Harveth I've come to know and love. I'm also enjoying the addition of Solvi to the squad, she is a perfect partner for Harveth Emo and I'm hoping she becomes a mainstay of the series. Definitely, any recommend this one enough. If you weren't already hyped for Black Ice, heed my advice get hyped. Overall this book has 4.49 ratings on the Goodreads website and it has been receiving a lot of positive reviews. So this book is worth checking out. Feel free to purchase the book from the link in the description.